Hello from Mallorca Blockchain Days. I'm here with Thomas, the founder of Electrum Wallet, that legendary Bitcoin wallet. Um, how? <laughs> Thank you for being here. How do you like this conference? It's not your first time here, right? No, it's my third time in the world. Third time. It feels like family now. Yes. How would you describe this event um, in general, in comparison to all the other crypto conferences you've really been to? Very relaxed, very nice. Can swim every day. <laughs> <see>. Great. <laughs> what are your main uh, updates regarding Electrum? I know you have your um, mobile wallet update, and this year, yeah, yeah. We have a big update of the mobile because we changed the the GUI of the mm -hmm. app. Now it's much more uh, responsive. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have tried it. <laughs> I've tried it a little bit on someone else's Android, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I why don't you do one for Mac or yeah, iOS? That's a difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> it, it will not fit. It will. Okay, well, but it is requested. In how in how much time do you think it will fit? Like a year or two? On the Mac? Yeah. On iOS? I yes, to put Electrum on the iOS. No, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> okay. I know you're a very Android person. Mm. <coughs> what is the next update? What is the expected uh, in like the next year from Electrum, I'd say? Uh, we have uh, still to improve the user experience on Lightning. Uh, I think we're going to implement something uh, a little bit similar as what Phoenix does mm -hmm. uh, regarding uh, receiving payments when you don't have capacity. Right. So. Uh, with a server that opens a, a just-in-time channel uh, on the fly to you to mm -hmm. receive. So this uh, this is not simple. Uh, it's probably going to take us a few months to have a working <laughs> prototype. Uh, what are the main threads for Bitcoin in your opinion these days? What are you the most scared of that could happen to Bitcoin anytime soon? Nothing. Nothing. It's uh, <laughs> no, you can resist anything. Threats. Yeah, oh, right. <laughs> uh, well, regulations maybe. Yeah, um, we have to see what comes with the the Mika rules in Europe. For example. Right. This could be a threat. Uh, I mean, it's not going to threat to the the technical side of it, of course, but it could uh, strongly impact how businesses are. Mm -hmm. What would be your Bitcoin price prediction for, let's say, the uh, end of 2023, 2024? <laughs> Are you bullish? 42. <laughs> 42k. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's not bad at all. You had a talk today at Mallorca Blockchain Days. What was that about? About um, the privacy implications of uh, Lightning mm -hmm. uh, on a wallet like Electrum, because uh, we started as an on-chain wallet and then we added lightning uh, mm -hmm. after a few years and uh, now we are still working on the better integrating lightning but at the same time uh, lightning is much more private than mm -hmm. on-chain transactions and uh, it can also spread uh, or it, can, it, it actually has a positive effect on your privacy even on-chain. Oh cool, are you looking to some other layering technologies on top of Bitcoin like RGB or other kind of things to implement? I have been uh, excited by Arc, okay. um, but I'm not uh, sufficiently expert to talk about it. Mm -hmm. um, this is an interesting development. Okay. Uh, RGB, I don't know. I don't. Yeah. You didn't look into that much yet. I did at some point, but mm. uh, well, I, I think the new <laughs> the new uh, thing now that everybody is talking about is Arc, uh, and uh, I'm curious. All right. So maybe you could see yourself implementing that in the future in Electrum. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> We're not that far yet. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they announced that ARC would be actually implemented this year, which I'm a bit skeptical about. Okay. I don't know how complex it is, but uh, let's see. <laughs> Where do you see all, all going, like the Web3 people and all like the um, Ethereum craze about all the Web3 stuff? Are you into that or anti that? How do you feel about it? What is Web3? I mean, are you talking about the Ethereum? Uh, Basically all the NFTs that people trade on and off and like all of those um, MMORPG uh, games well, and everything. Okay, the NFTs on uh, the Bitcoin blockchain, are you asking that? Okay, we, we can talk about ordinals as well. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I think it's a, 
uh, it demonstrates that uh, when okay when we had segwit uh, the there was a rule that was introduced it's not a consensus rule uh, it's a as, as a rule uh, that the miners use for the consensus, mm -hmm. but there is a rule that says that the space in the witness is cheaper than uh, on the main part of the block. Mm -hmm. And this rule is not consensus rule. It's just a uh, well, it's another kind of. Uh, I mean, it's a it's a minor decision mm -hmm. to charge this much for this part of the block, and we can see now that it this rule doesn't make sense. They could have used the same price for the whole block. Uh, mm -hmm. This this just exposed that this this rule uh, was a little bit absurd. All right, so there is no big danger of like ordinals and inscriptions for Bitcoin blockchain there. No, or you think it could be abused? I don't think it's a dangerous thing, mm. uh, but I also don't think it's a it's a good thing either, uh, right? <laughs> I would not recommend that we invest in in any of this. I yeah, think it, uh, in a few years <laughs> it will be over. Yeah, that is a no investment advice. That's another thing. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thanks. And let's have fun. Let's go.